Hello and welcome to another Shuko Digital webinar. My name is Matthias Hof and today I would like to talk about the unit appearance and um, what kind of possibilities you have in Shukal to um, manipulate this and change it. So here are our subjects. First of all, I'm going to talk about the master data and the settings. Afterwards, I will show some special settings within the position. And last but not least, alternative settings for glasses. So I'm switching to my Shukai now. There it is. Um, first of all, the unit appearance can be changed on the, the tab general in the group settings. And here you find a menu, define unit appearance. In this dialog, you can change the different settings and manipulate how your item will look in different scenarios. First of all, while editing a unit, then the item drawing in a preview. This is how the item will look in the project explorer, for example. Third tab is about the item drawing in lists. And the fourth one is the item drawing in quotations. So here you can find the group layer control. So while editing a unit, it may be the case that you don't want to see, for example, um, the opening symbols. So with a click on this checkbox, you can simply deactivate it and won't see it in the editing models anymore. I will activate it again. The same is for the axis, helplines, dimensioning, and so on. Right below, you find the group display. The way it is configured now, you can see a number on each of the profiles of the outer frame. If you want to, you can change the profile label, for example, from profile number to article number. Then you see the article number directly on the profile. Here you can change the standard view and the standard view for facades. Right now we are looking at the element from the outside. Of course, you can change the angle uh, of the view and the positions anytime. In this group, you can change the font sizes when you want to have larger text. And in the group colors, you can um, choose whether, for example, you want to have the true uh, colors on the profiles as they are configured. Um, or, by example, if you want to have it colored by purpose. So in this case, the outer frame is in a different color than the vent frames. Or you can switch it to user-defined profile color. Uh, then you can choose the color you like and all the profiles are shown in this color. I will change it back to true colors. Here you can change the different colors for all kind of, uh, of texts or logos. You can as well change the background, which is now in a light blue. Uh, let's change it to uh, gray, for example. Just select the color, click on OK. And the background is gray. And here you can define uh, different colors for glass one to four and for every following glass. The same with the panels. As I said before, 
you can do the same for the item drawing in a preview, the item drawing in lists. So this is how the element will appear in any lists you print. Um, and on the false top, the same for the item drawing. Here, for example, you can um, deactivate the message symbols. So when you print a quotation, you don't want to have this warning label on the on the uh, element so you can simply deactivate it okay the settings are saved and now i will go back to um, the project explorer and here I got the uh, positions, I, uh, I prepared a, a regular window, AWS 75. Um, and without entering the position itself, you can here click um, on the positions with the right mouse click. And in the context menu, you find the point define unit appearance. When you click here, you get the same dialogue as before and can change the settings for this specific position. So now I will jump right into this position to show you where you find uh, the same menu again. First one is here under glass and panel. There you have a button uh, with a small tool on it. It says define unit appearance. That's the same dialogue we saw before. And under the tab view, which is right here, you also have a button define. As you can see, the background here is still blue. And when I switch to the uh, item drawing in quotations, the checkbox on the message symbol is still active. The reason this is because um, we changed the settings in the in the master data, and um, this position existed before we did it. So, with the help on a click on this button, reset all the changes we did before are now copied to this position. So the background is gray. We have our article numbers on the profiles. And on the fourth tab, the checkbox for the message symbols is deactivated. OK. Um, the third thing I want to show is um, special settings within a glass. So I'm going into my glass here, 38 millimeter. And here you find um, the list item display. It says from unit display. So now the glass appears how it is defined in the unit appearance menu. We can change this now to defined. And when we scroll down to the bottom here, we can uh, change the color for this glass for the unit editing, item drawing, item drawing for lists, and item drawing in quotations. So now, if I change this to, let's say, green, then it doesn't matter how the unit appearance is defined in the master data, this glass will always appear in a green color. Of course, you can edit your glasses in the master, master data as well under the, under the menu glass and panels. And then your glasses always have the color you defined for them if you want to. 
So that's it for today about the definition of the unit appearance. I hope you enjoyed our webinar. Um, thank you and goodbye.